lane when I pass in the street Bag of money in the passenger seat Simple's been asking for me On the road from the west to the east Way up, I might never come down What's up YouTube, it's Zach. We're back here with another video. Uh, I haven't posted on here for a while. We're out here at Decker Training Facility doing a little small class today. Um, should be fun. We got my dad out here grooming it. Dirt looks perfect out here today. Moisture is good. Good, good weather out here. So I know you guys haven't seen a lot of these new track changes here at Decker Training Facility, um, but behind us, we got some pretty cool stuff. We got a new watchtower with a Connex container over there. Um, ready for you guys to come check it out this winter. Man, I need to get some breakfast, but we're gonna start this school here at 9.30. Uh, we're gonna go to meet them in the gym. I'm gonna show them a few things, a few warm-ups that I do before I go ride. Um, then we're gonna come out, hit the track, I'm gonna go watch them do a few laps, see where they're slow at, and then kinda break down some sections. Do some section work for a little bit, and then two more hours of work after that. Trying to get these guys to grind, so next week we have a race here, and uh, Trying to get these guys to win. Pop's got a new skid steer yesterday, so he's in La La Land, dude. He cannot get off that thing. It's just, it's like his drug. Literally wakes up in the morning, thinks skid steer, skid steer, skid steer, where's it at? Gotta get on it. We got Steve in the cut. By day worker, by night racer. He signed up for the school today. Getting a little bit of that work in before. Look at him, laying that pipe. Glad get, to get him on video with a <laughs> shovel on his hand. You're gonna see that every day. This is the warm up right here. Warm up for Zach. What happened here? Pipe broke. What I'll do on this? On this, I'll Dude, scratch off the Steve top. Steve didn't lay the proper pipe. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> too high. It's too high. <laughs> That's good, Zach. I think you'll be. Man. I think you'd be out of the charm there. Steve's a bad pipe layer, huh? Huh? Steve's a bad pipe layer, huh? <laughs> just a quad Steve's rider. a pipe layer fool, are you kidding me? He straight out of jersey. Okay, Zach, now you can follow me. I'm gonna get the heavy I'll, stuff I'll, I'll off. That, right. I'm gonna get the heavy stuff off the top. Then we'll do the same thing. We'll expose it all the way across the turn, then we'll set it right down. Alright. <laughs> I'll be drained or I get on the quad. Been a lot of stuff going down here at the track um, with the track and the facility um, stay tuned I'm gonna give you guys a little tour pretty soon I don't think you should have left this quad with me <laughs> this quad is it anyone know this guy kale, kale deal I don't know. he claims to be the real deal but I don't think he is Shut up myself? Yeah. 
What the f Is there oil in it? Bro, that just sounded like the motor just blew, doesn't didn't it? It just was making a weird noise and then just... And it just shut off by itself. Oh, no. See what it does if you... Oh, it didn't blow up. never drove it so the next time someone else uses it they're like oh dang what the heck happened to this thing that's where you're gonna play my it. problem <laughs> boss ain't in the shop peek the trailer wrap dude new wrap on the trailer haven't even posted that on instagram yet no i gotta call kevin kevin's the mechanic my pro mechanic for racing but not only that he is just the general mechanic here for anything that breaks skid steer brakes you know, Kevin's gonna fix it. Quad brakes, Kevin's gonna fix it. Surround brakes, Kevin's gonna fix it. Truck needs oil, Kevin's on it. Hey. 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 Um, the blue side-by-side -side yep. is making a weird noise. What do you mean the blue side-by-side? -side? The one that, the one that you told me not to wreck last night. I don't know. I didn't wreck it. It's just making a noise. Like a clanking like, noise. Yeah, like, a, like when like you're... Engine no, like... Yeah, you're driving and it'll be like... I thought I thought it was on you. <laughs> We'll see you guys do it a few times. Obviously, you're gonna make mistakes. It's all right. I'm gonna come up, do it like three times, and come up and talk to him. All right. So we're working on the sand section. Um, after watching them do a few laps, they were kind of coming to this uh, hump right here, slamming on their brakes, rolling it, and then just going through this corner like a generic, regular flat corner, um, sitting on their bike, sitting on their seat, and just just leaning. It's a sand corner. It's deep sand here, so. It's gonna get some deep ruts. We've only done three laps and we've already got some pretty good ruts here going. So um, they're gonna really need to stand up, get off the bike and let the bike do its thing. <laughs> Is you need to just focus on staying consistent so like like you're coming through this and you're good but then you're you're going you're giving it more throttle and then you're letting off the throttle and then you let off the, the throttle completely at the end of that corner and that's when your bike got upset and squirrely and then you went off the track just try to come in this like pretty hot right here jump into that like you are you're doing good just try to keep a better job with with staying consistent with that throttle not wah, 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 wah. you need to shift up though like grab another gear you're wah, 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 wah. shift up so on. <laughs> you're looking really good too just calm down a little bit okay. just like just like you're you're so tense and you're not breathing i can tell you're not even taking a breath just right. calm down and just breathe it through you're looking great you're looking great just Calm down. Calm down I and do take a breath too. because if you and you do that for the whole moto, you're gonna lock up in two laps and be ah dead. You know what <laughs> right, I mean? right. Then you're gonna be going through this corner ten times slower. So. Right. Hey, don't hold up. You know, I could that. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. We're not all day here. It's only ten a.m. You're good. I'm worried about my theory, man. I know. Be good. I got 
got some, dog. I got some parts to fix this stuff. So. What I what I see, you, you should lean a lot more towards the side that you're the corner you're coming into. So when you came into this, this outside, it's soft, right? It's like doesn't it's not really developed right here. So that's when you really need to be on that gas. Full throttle. I mean you were. You were, you came into that, that inside and you jumped to the outside. <laughs> you were on that gas. Um, but I need, you gotta like lean a little bit more with it too. Yeah, consistent throttle you lean you listen to me about that rut you just gotta pay attention and, and well, look at those and ruts also, and find so them looking ahead a little bit i started looking ahead more and more after each go yeah i yeah. started getting that down but i was also that was just second gear i wasn't even in third gear every time i want you to, to progressively get faster through it until you make a mistake once you make a mistake again then you know that take it back the next step the next level that was just a mistake just caught. Yeah, I caught one. Yeah. All right, so we're working on this whoop section right here, Lucas. Um, I'm gonna be standing over there. We're gonna be working on the whoops and that corner after it. So that corner after it, you're gonna be standing just like we were over there, okay? Standing, landing, and on the gas, like consistent throttle. Obviously, you're gonna have to let off in the entry, but around most of it, I want you on the throttle. Nowhere around a motocross track should you ever be off, like on and off the throttle. Like that just should never be a thing. You should always be consistent throttle. Throttle control, throttle control, and then through that corner. I'm gonna hit it one time. I'm gonna go a few, I'm gonna do it a few times. I'm gonna do it like slower and then I'll work into my pace. <laughs> kind of like gives out so your bike naturally is going to want to get upset like my bike just did but you kind of have to like flow with the bike you can't fight the bike and then that's when it's going to do its thing and and go all crazy on you <laughs> 